Hey guys, this is Charlie Spencer 99 and today I'm here with um, episode 6, I think, of the Builder's Journal. And uh, yeah, so let's just get started. Uh, here, first of all, let me turn up my sound here. Uh, 75 is good. And um, today is more of a finishing touches episode of um, our snow forts thing. Now, I'm not going to really mess with his other than maybe some small stuff, but I won't do anything drastic enough to um, make him angry, because I know he's proud of his castle. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I probably will change his snow piles. And uh, I did add, after I cut off the episode, I added, um, I don't, I, I think I, I, he added this in the video, but I didn't, so I went ahead and added some snow guards on mine, too. And um, let's see if we can spawn a guy in and see what'll happen if that happens. Uh, let me just set time to sunrise. Then we'll go ahead and spawn in a. No, I don't. I don't know what what's the um, limits. Like, what what do they uh, do? Certain things work and certain things don't. I'm not really sure. So let me see if this works. Do they throw stuff at it? Come here, spider. No, they don't throw stuff at it, so... I'm gonna get myself a diamond sword here. Oh, hey! He is right there. I'm trying to... Maybe, like... I could lower them. Oh yeah, I could just put some down. I'll put, I'll leave them up there, but then do some right here. Where's the snow blocks? I love the snow blockses. Um. So yeah. So let's spawn ourselves. Well, not really spawn. Actually, more like build. I love the way they did these with the snowballs. They're really neat. Spawn ourselves. Uh, I mean, build ourselves a couple of these. Um, I think I will place this snow mound inside the kingdom because it's really sort of taking up space out here, and I like the look. We'll have all snow forts and our little castle guards, and that'll be it. The thing is, is that you always have to watch it in creative mode because you're always messing stuff up on accident. Um, wait. Hey, don't lag. Don't be lagging. Let me check my settings. Yeah, it's on normal settings. Hmm. Just making sure, because it... So, sometimes my computer tends to have little lag spikes. Like, single-player lag spikes whenever I have the settings up too much. You know, between recording and everything, it's sort of... It's the su super computer of the century, and even that's not enough. <laughs> Boy, okay. I'm not being talkative in this episode, am I? But yeah, so I'm really glad we did this project. I like the project, and I think it's going to be a really cool little addition to our Builder's Journal map. And I need you guys to watch this video and post in the comments whether you think I should give this map out to people or not. Because it is getting cooler, I'll admit. But I don't know. I don't really know if I want to give it out or not. So. If you guys convince me, then I might, but I don't really, at this point, I don't think I'm going to. So, again, if you want this map, then you're going to really have to look for it, or you're going to have to ask, or, you know, you just like, and all that stuff, and if, with all of it together, I'm sure you could probably convince me. I'm just really, I'm, I'm sort of iffy about giving it away, because it's going to be so awesome by the end of this series. That's right. No, don't blow up. Good. No. Good job. Good job, snow golem. Perf Dude, the snow golems took him out with only one hit from me. Nice job, buddies. These guys are pretty awesome, if you ask me. But I'm not going to mess with the creeper anymore. I That was a mistake on my part. One or I bet they'll hit spiders. Um, let's see. We could spawn a cave spider. That could be cool. 
No, those things are too small. Huh. They gotta be stuck there. If they're not stuck there, then... Hmm. But they gotta be able to see through things. Well, let's try, like... Mm, let's try... Here's a skeleton. A zombie. And, uh, where is my normal spider? Because the normal spiders it saw. Well, that's silverfish. That's definitely not gonna see that. Uh, there's normal spider. I can't believe I didn't see that earlier. Oh, die. Okay, let me turn this down a little. Because I want you to hear stuff, but I don't want it to be so loud it's overpowering my voice. That would be bad. Ow, hey, you're ruining my snow set. You stupid golems, you're supposed to be hitting these things. Let me drag this guy around and see if he knows. Ah, there we go. You just gotta get him in your sight. Ooh. See a little conflict going on here? <laughs> Let's just let him take care of him. Take care of that spider. Let's just watch it. And the battle continues. They're both attacking it. Dun 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 dun! Let's just hit the final blow on it. I'm just like, happy. But yeah, here's what I've been doing with this. Um, I remember I did the throne. I'm basically, what I'm going to be doing on my castle here is just um, sort of rem reminiscing over the project and um, fixing up mo mostly this snow that melted away due to the glowstone that I placed down. Because I like the the look the glowstone gives off is really great and it adds um, lighting without uh, having to have gro gross looking torches everywhere. But it also melts any source of light or heat melts. Um, this, so it's not really, uh, that's sort of a downside to it. Although the snow blocks don't melt, so it's really, it just melts these little snow caps that are on the blocks under them. It's, I wish that, uh, there was a way with, um, SPC or single player commands to do that, but I didn't see one, and I don't think there is, so I sort of just sort of, I sort of just sort of left it, so. Why is there always, I, I like see iron everywhere whenever I'm not looking for it, and then when I'm in survival mode looking for it, I can't just dig down one block and see it. I have to like, be really far down. It's really weird. I hear a zombie. I, I wonder if there's a cave under this castle. Well, there's something under this castle. Oh yeah, this is that single player commands thing. Single player commands has some downsides too, like, when I, when I use this land flattener, that it has the paintbrush tool um it sort of flattened it out um and left a little hole wherever there was open space so it's sort of a little messy but that's okay i'm just filling in these little blank spots well hello there <laughs> maybe at least the front can be have these not cats and actual snow blocks because it does look nicer when it's all uniform, but it's just too tough to do. I don't know. I, I, I like it like this. So far, I've sort of thought it was worked out good. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think, but you guys need to comment if you want to know, if you want me to know what you think. And I never capped this off, did I? I seem to be able to find it there. There we go. So, I'm pretty sure this project is basically done now. Um, maybe add... Oh yeah, we wanted to put... Some snow piles here. Maybe like... like this so it'll be sort of like an um, an emergency snow supply and then we can have a ton of snowballs up at the top here I don't know 
though I sort of like that for the look, actually. <laughs> Let's see, did I put, yeah, I did. I'm trying to make sure I put uh, something in the insides of all these, then put uh, some right here. Okay, so now we have all these, and we'll just put, um, we can put signs on the, we'll put a chest right here, and then get a kajillion snowballs. Where are the snowballs? Not books, no walls. Burn. Dirt. Okay. Let's see. Let's put. Let's see here. So, we don't need any more snow golems. We can just. Here, I have a faster way. <laughs> Too many items is faster for getting stacks. Let's. Let's face facts, it's faster for getting stacks. Just slide all these in. Wait, why am I not doing this? Glitch, that works good. <laughs> um. trying here. Let's see if I do this. No way! So now there's all 16 in there. And now I can also just drag these to the delete button. And voila! So now we have a we got to label it here. Um, sign. Emergency snowballs. Er. Just put s snowball. that on this one too. Oh, not capital B. They gotta look right. <laughs> Snowball supply. Okay, so now that we have that, we can also put on in the front of each of these emergency snow. Gotta put that four times so Here's a chance for you to see my excellent typing. Emergency snow. Oops. Especially my excellent work with signs. Okay, so that's uh, the same here. They gotta all be equal. Oops. Where is the snow? Where's the snow? Okay. Emergency snow. Let's see, and then put one right here. Emer As you can see, emergency snow. Okay, so now we got all our emergency snow and a snowball's chest. And then we've got our beautiful, let me just give you a little tour here, last couple of minutes. So now we've got our um, beautiful little um, outer thingamajig here and it's just like a inside alleyway and we've got our entrance and our guards then we've got you can walk into the throne room and there is a wonderful little throne for you to sit on with emergency snow supply in case you run out or you were to run out and there's ladders on each side up to the guard towers or the fort section and then it closes on both sides like that then there is guard towers, which have little slits in them, perfect for throwing snowballs at the enemy team. There is a snowball supply, all 250 of them, <laughs> whatever is in there. 
and it's really beautiful, this whole thing. And that ladder just goes down to the alleyway, and then you, from there you know where everything else is. Then, uh, I, I don't really know where everything is in here, but I'll give you a slow tour. There is snow supply for shovels in there. There is a dooring, and um, this he's the one that came out with the idea. Nile Gamer uh, came up with the idea for the snow golems on the sides. I just augmented it and did my own idea of it. He has melon flooring, a uh, diamond castle, and I don't, I guess, oh, I, this is a throne, okay. He picked a really odd um, materials, <laughs> end stone, all that. Um, as you can see, he shaped his castle a little differently than mine. And um, let me see, alright, he forgot ladders, I believe. <laughs> I think he forgot ladders. That's terrible. Here, let me get some ladders for him. And, um, I'm guessing he wanted ladders here. I'm assuming that ladders were the, was the original plan. <laughs> so, there you go. Now he's got ladders. <laughs> Doesn't really matter if he wanted them or not. He's get, got them now. <laughs> so then, he's also got ladders on this side. And, uh, yeah, he's got a nice choice lapis lazuli and um, glowstone floating right there. I don't really know what's in here. He's got... Oh, is this the entrance? Okay, so there was supposed to be ladders up here, too. And, uh, so I can see where he was trying to put ladders, but he just must have spaced out. Um, and then he should have some snow... Oh, there, bow and arrow. This isn't supposed to be here. It should be snowballs, but I guess he really he really wanted to have bow and arrows, I guess. Um, then let me get a million snowballs. And then just store them in here. <laughs> wow, he has a lot bigger chest than I do. Um, so yeah, we got a kajillion snowballs. <laughs> so he's obviously better equipped. <laughs> Okay, that is weird. Just put this there. That. You'll never catch me in blind, Shadden. <laughs> and I'm trying to organize these into an orderly, fa orderly fashion. And then it's not supposed to be like this. I don't know what is with um, too many items, but I guess this works, right? <laughs> we will just have one chest here because I'm tired of stocking this. Or no, I have a better idea. We can just fill up this chest like so oh man this is annoying here I'm gonna go out here and then fill with snowballs oh, great so it's still gonna be like that so I got to do this every time. That's lame. But, um, yeah, I don't know what's up with too many items. It's weird. Uh, so, now that we've got that, we'll put them in correctly. <laughs> and we will just fill half chest each time. Because I'm tired of stacking snowballs. Wow, I spent four minutes stacking snowballs. That's terrible. I did a lot faster on my chest. Um, but anyways, so now there's two, um, there is basically as, almost as many snowballs as I have. And then, what did he store in these chests? Nothing, I don't think. Um, yeah, he didn't store anything. But yeah, a really great project. I'm glad we were able to get this done. I'm afraid to put torches <laughs> out, um, here because if you put them on the battlefield, it will, um, fix it'll start melting so we don't want that but yeah it's a really great um little snow fort and uh you can see brandybuck village over here 
Um, let me set time to sunrise. Yeah, you can see Brandy Buck um, over here. And then now we've got our addition of the snow forts. Wow, these are actually really big. I just realized that. <laughs> but, so yeah. So, as you can see, we're beginning to slowly but surely shape out our um, Builder's Journal world. And um, thank you guys for watching this overview episode and uh, finishing touches video. Um, please comment, like, subscribe, because I really appreciate um, all of those. Um, yeah, so thanks. Bye. Charles 399 signing off.